How's it going everyone? Shifty here and I'm back with another Destiny 2 video. Today I've got some Crucible gameplay for you using some old Trials of the Nine weapons that you can no longer obtain. These are all year one weapons so they have less perks than the weapons that came out after the release of Forsaken. Not only that but they cannot be modded and master working works a bit differently. Before we get into my setup for this video, as I'm a fairly new YouTuber without any editing experience prior to this, I've been learning a lot and in this video I tried to learn a bit more about editing so I hope that you stick around to check it out. It's nothing mind blowing but I'm taking small steps and learning things along the way. So I hope that you enjoy and if you do hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to see my future Destiny 2 content. Alright so as far as my build in this video, I'm using my quick super chaos reach build that I covered in another video, I'll link that in the description. That's the exact setup I'm using for this video except for the weapons. My heavy is the exotic Wardcliffe coil, which is a pretty meta choice but I felt like using it as I almost never use this weapon. But the point of this video is to use the unobtainable year 1 weapons that I have in my kinetic and energy slot. The pulse rifle I'm using is Relentless from Trials of the Nine back in the day. For the barrel I've selected Chambered Compensator, primarily for the increased stability and recoil direction. As I mentioned in my Cold Denial video, Headseeker makes high impact pulse rifles a bit more forgiving so I've selected that. And finally the last perk is Snapshot Sights which makes this weapon a little bit snappier. I've also got a slight boost to range from this classic masterwork which required a one time fee of 10 enhancement cores. The shotgun I'm using is a sudden death, again from Trials of the Nine. On this I've got Chambered Compensator selected. I probably should have been using Hammer Forged Rifling but the clips are already made so I guess that's that. I'm using Slide Shot so that I can get a boost to range and reload a shell upon sliding. And then it comes to the final perk Threat Detector and I've got a little bit extra handling with this masterwork. Alright, so that's it for my setup. Remember if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Two for one. Gain the lead.
nothing but your ghost, your weapon, and your life. Why are you bullying me?